Hey, what's up? Today, I wanted to make a video to share how you can transfer your Instagram data to PixelFed. And so if you're trying to avoid large social media corporation like Instagram, Facebook, X, or whatever, or if you're considering using decentralized uh, free and open source social media like PixelFed, then this could be for you. So let's go right in. All right, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is what is PixelFed? And PixelFed is an image sharing platform very similar to Instagram. But the difference with it is that PixelFed is designed to be free, open source, ad free, decentralized, and also private. It is also built on the activity pub, and so that means that everything that you post on PixelFed. Uh, becomes part of the Fediverse and it's quite similar to Mastodon but Mastodon is kind of an alternative to X but PixelFed is kind of an alternative to Instagram. And the second thing that I wanted to talk about is why should you care? And in the last years uh, many large tech corporations took over the internet Companies like Google, Microsoft, uh, Meta, Facebook, Uber, and also Instagram, because Instagram is part of Meta, which is kind of affiliated with, with, with Facebook. And so Instagram is one of them. And in my opinion, as of right now, I think that these kinds of platforms are uh, becoming a little bit too powerful. And it's been like this for many years now, but now, uh, I think that uh, they have an insane amount of users and that basically lead to a very high centralization and because these platforms and these websites and these social media have a very high centralization, they basically control the market and because they control the market, then uh, they can get away with bad behavior and so for example companies like instagram collect a very large amount of data they show ads they require a subscription for verification and they also use a bunch of hidden algorithm that you don't really know what they're doing and so they sh what you see and what you not see is controlled by these algorithm and so you're you're not in control of anything and so basically, PixelFed is meant to be like Instagram, but instead of being uh, managed by a large corporation, PixelFed is managed by a non-profit organization. And that basically means that their mission is to actually empower the users instead of being at the mercy of the corporation. So what they do in a way is kind of volunteering. It's kind of similar to what WordPress is doing. And so I think that's a very interesting solution. So the third thing that I wanted to talk about is how you can transfer your data from Instagram to PixelFed. And so in my case here, I'm going to be using my computer because I just find it easier, but I'm assuming that you can pretty much do the same process uh, using your phone and so the first thing that you want to do here is that you go on Instagram and so here I'm on my profile and the second thing that you kind of have to do is that you you select this hamburger menu here and you go into your activities and then from here you can download your information and then you can click continue which going to lead you into the meta account center or whatever and so from here you can select uh, the account that you want and the information that you want and so in my case uh, to keep it simple I'm going to, I'm going to select all the information I'm going to download the device and I'm going to select all time here to get to have access to all my posts and I'm also going to select the highest quality of these uh, media. And the most important thing here that you have to, to select here is that the format, you have to make sure that you select the JSON format. And so here you can do that. 
and then you can create files. And so here right now, uh, Instagram and Meta is going to collect all your information and you kind of have to wait a few minutes because right now it is processing everything and so in a few minutes you'll be able to download it. All right, so after a few minutes, you should get an email saying that uh, your Instagram information is ready to download. And so the simple thing that you have to do is simply click on the link and then you're going to get back on this page here that we were just before. But the difference here is that now we can download uh, this thing here. Just make sure that you enter your password so that you can continue. And so now we can download this zip file and there you go, I'm downloading the zip file. Once I have the zip file, it is now in my download folder and we don't really have to uh, unzip it. I mean, you can unzip it if you want to have access to uh, the data that Instagram and Facebook and Meta is collecting from you. But to do the import, we don't have to unzip it. And so the next step here is to go into your account setting in your uh, Pixel Fed account. And so I just want to show before that there is no post as of right now. And so that's simply the thing that I want to show. And so you can go into the account setting and then there is the import section that you can go. And then here you can basically import uh, the data from Instagram and you just have to make sure that uh, it's a bunch of JSON uh, from, from Instagram in a zip format. And so that's what we have right here. And so here I'm going to select that. And now uh, PixelFed is able to get all my posts that I had on, on uh, Instagram. In my case, I don't have many. I have pretty much like uh, nine or whatever. So I'm gonna select everything, I'm going to import. Actually, it seems that I have 12 posts and it is only importing nine posts. So I don't know if there's a mistake somewhere. That's kind of weird. So right now the posts are getting processed and they're getting imported. And so we simply have to wait a few minutes. So now if you refresh the page, you can see that the imported posts, you can review them. And I just want to check my image because it seems like I'm missing a bunch of image. So I have these image here. There's a second row. It seems like I'm missing a few images. I'm missing this one. I'm missing this one. I'm missing this one here and that's it. So that's kind of weird. Okay, well, there you go. So here you can view them. And so if I go in my profile now, uh, my image are there, but you see my only problem here is that it shows nine posts and here I have 12 posts. So I don't know if there's a mistake with the, uh, with the importer. And if I check in my data here, I am in my Instagram data folder, we can see that all the JPEGs were imported, but uh, the format uh, WebP uh, doesn't seem to work in this case. So I'm not sure if there's a problem with the importer or whatever, but it seems like the WebP are not being imported. So maybe that's something to look into. And so if some image are missing, then I'm assuming that it could be related to uh, the format of the image. But as we can see here, my posts were imported, my JPEG posts were imported. Uh, not all of them, but some of them were imported. And so the only thing I should have to keep in mind is that uh, you don't have any likes on these posts, you don't have the comments on these posts, you don't have the uh, repost. Uh, on these posts. And so you have to keep in mind that if you're switching here, you're starting from scratch and you don't have your followers, you don't have your following as well. And so I'm assuming that over time, as the import importer gets better, I'm assuming that uh, if everything becomes part of the Fediverse and the activity pub, I'm assuming that at some point it could be easier to import the likes we could import the followers 
the, the following and, and the comments or whatever, because if everything is interconnected, then at some point I'm assuming that we'll be able to do these things. But as I'm recording this, Instagram is not part of the Fediverse. It's not using the activity pub. And so maybe if it, if it joins it at some point, we'll be able to do that. All right, so the fourth thing that I wanted to talk about is the mobile app, because obviously most people that are using Instagram are using their phone because, and not really their computer because uh, they're chatting with their friend, they're taking pictures, uh, they're sharing videos or whatever. And most of these things, uh, you use your phone to do these things. And so to download the app, what you can do is that here I have a, an Android phone, by the way, so I can go into the Play Store and then I can search for uh, Pixel Fed. Okay, and there's a the Pixel Fed. The only thing is that as of right now, uh, the Pixel Fed official application is not available right now. And so the best thing that I can do right now is simply uh, pre-register for the automatic install so if you're watching this in the future maybe the application is going to be available here and so for right now the best thing that I can do is simply enable this little thing here to have access to the official app of the Google Play Store but another thing that you can do as well is that you can go into the F-Droid App Store which is basically a free and open source app store that only host free and open source applications. And then you can search for pixel fed here, uh, right here. And uh, there's uh, this application called pixel droid that you can install here. And it's not the official application, but since, since everything is free and open source, then the free and open source community, they create different clients for these applications. And so here is just a client that you can use uh, for pixel fed. And so there you go, that's an application right there. And so that's just something that you can use. And so in conclusion, I think that in the last years, Instagram has been a very popular social media to share images, videos, and chat with friends and just consume content. But I think that we reached a point where we kind of have to find an alternative where users are not at the mercy of large tech corporation that only care about profits. And so here pixel fed is a newer solution that was created uh, by a nonprofit that is completely free and open source. And so that means that they care about being ad free, private, decentralized and I think that's exactly what is needed right now and so from now on if you want to chat with me or if you want to follow what I do then I would recommend that you do so on pixel fed and also on Mastodon because I'm currently making the transition from uh, Instagram to pixel fed and I'm also making the transition from X to Mastodon and so that's where it is and so that's pretty much it for this video and I hope that this video was helpful to you and if this video was valuable to you, you could consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And if you have any thoughts or comments, you can leave them below because I will answer everything and your thoughts and comments could also be valuable to other people. And so that's it for this video. Peace.